Hello and welcome to my first online tutorial. Today we'll be using the free program GIMP to take a photograph and make its background black and white. We'll be doing this using two layers and a layer mask. So let's go ahead and get started. Start out by opening up GIMP and find your image on your hard drive. File open. Mine's on the desktop. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer. Right click, duplicate layer. And since we want most of the image to be black and white, uh, first let's rename this top layer to something like color layer. Okay. And then select this background layer on the bottom and go to colors, desaturate. You can choose either of these. It won't uh, make that big of a difference. I'll just go with the average of the two. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add a layer mask to the top layer. So right click, add layer mask. Since we want most of this color layer to be um, transparent, we're going to select this black option, full transparency. Click add. And now we're going to uh, modify the layer mask a little bit so that part of it uh, changes from transparent to opaque. Now make sure you have the layer mask selected because we're going to be painting on it and you don't want to paint on the actual image. So make sure that's selected. You'll see the white border. Then press P for paintbrush. Zoom in a little bit. I zoom in by holding control and using the mouse wheel. Okay. Now what we're going to do is switch the color of our paintbrush to white, which represents opaque instead of transparency. So, so click this double-headed arrow and just start painting on all the parts that you want to be uh, color. So you will Sometimes a common mistake is if you have the layer itself selected, you'll start painting and you'll notice that you're painting black or white on the image. So that's something to look out for. Okay, and don't worry about getting this perfect on the first pass because you will be doing more than one pass. Okay, I guess we'll leave the shadow alone. Okay, and to change the brush size, you can either click on it, select a smaller brush of the same shape, or you can use the scale here. I find the scale a little easier because there's a shortcut, and it's the brackets. The left bracket makes it get smaller, the right bracket increases the scale to make it larger. So that's a lot easier to, to change quickly. Alright, so finish up this part with a smaller brush. The uh, next thing we'll do is we'll switch to the black color to make s these parts transparent again. You can either click this or press X. through and paint over the parts that are obviously supposed to be black and white. But don't worry about getting it perfect on this try either, because the next step we'll be doing is using a fuzzy brush. That looks 
pretty good. If we just look at it now, it, it looks pretty good as it is. Um, but we'll add a finishing touch to make it a little bit better. Select one of these brushes that looks like this, fuzzy, circle fuzzy. And then with this, go over the edges that are, go over the pixels that are right on the edge that you're not really sure if they should be black and white or color. And what you'll do is just make them in between. So in the layer mask, these pixels are neither black nor white. They're some shade of gray. And you can see this by right-clicking on the layer, go down to show layer mask. So this is what the actual layer mask looks like. You can see kind of an outline. You can see right here that we missed a part. It's white. So here you can tell when you've missed parts in the middle. Okay, when you're done with that, um, keep going all over all the edges to make it look real good. And you just keep kind of, oops, you just keep kind of going back and forth until it looks about right. And here the shortcut X to change between these two colors is pretty useful because I change a lot. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I finish this up and then we'll be done with it after that. Alright, and when you're satisfied with the result and ready to save it, file, save a copy. You'll probably want to save it as a JPEG. So type .jpg. Go to save. Okay, it's warning you that you have a layer mask. Okay, confirm. And that JPEG can't remember all this layers information, but that's fine. Export. Um, usually you can just leave the quality as it is. Uh, anything above 85 is usually fine. So click Save. Then you can minimize. And here is our completed image. So if you found this tutorial useful, then look for more in the future. Thanks. Bye.